think uh, my uh, previous mic. Oh, the previous one was shitty. Yeah, this one sounds uh, really good. Yeah. All right. Got it on uh, Black Friday, so yeah. Ah, I see. That's the time to, to go for it, man. Yep. You can get some good-ass deals. Mm-hmm. Some good deals. I'm, uh, I'm doing well, man. How are you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Just, uh, you know, living up before Black Mage. Now I'm 271. Mm-hmm. Uh, by next month, totems, I should be 275. Okay. I've got the hasty event, of course, that can give you a nice little boost there, right? Yeah, I won't be available all haste. Oh, uh, like that's unfortunate. Maybe two days. Oh, yeah. yeah. You in the uh, army stuff or what? Uh, no, uh, reserves. Like, I'm going back for uh, one month. I, see. I think that's how it's called. Re duty reserves, right? Or something like that. Oh, yeah. I'm Check. I don't know about most army stuff. I just know... Ma 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 sta batsava, and then <laughs> that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's a common question, right? Because it's a mandatory army. Yeah, team. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Most people, like almost uh, eighty percent, did mm -hmm. uh, a mandatory service of some sort. But, yeah. It's probably good to get some like structure in your life. I think it opens uh, up for a bunch of career stuff as well, right? For some people, yeah. For some, it's not that good. Mm-hmm. Is it, is it very physically taxing? Um, it depends, again. Yeah, we do more office there stuff. There are people like the yeah, office stuff and... Uh, or driving. Some people. Yeah, also. Yeah. Logistics and stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so this is a, a quick progression, right? But, I mean, we'll have to lo look at all the stats, of course, and see where you're at. But, um, yeah. um, so you're working towards Black Mage and trying to be Black Mage ready. Um, you're familiar with the requirements and, and, and for that? Uh, it should be 68 bills per second. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and yeah. then only with a speed potion, right? Yeah, I've heard different numbers. I've heard, like, 60. I've heard 75 because apparently the new dummy has, like, lower defense or something. Uh, but it, it totally depends on like how strong your party is, right? If everyone is like is nice within those boundaries, then you don't need to be super exact on the numbers. My just... party is like on my damage, around my damage. Mm -hmm. So okay. uh, yeah, we don't have like a big carry or someone with a twenty-one arcanes to like dash out <laughs> tons of damage. Oh shit! Is that me? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I'm yeah not we, we are casuals, like, all black mage ma ready around the, the minimum. Casuals in, in uh, do they even allow casuals in Elite? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Elite is pretty casual, like, okay, that's cool. a lot more casual than I thought. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, so, um, so what are you up to now? Um, so do, do you know, like, the BA where you're at? Uh, the what? The, your BA for the black mage? Oh, maybe like uh, the 30 minutes. Yeah, it's currently uh, 90 for a uh, dummy on my level. Mm. So once I get to 75, I should be like at 80, maybe 85 because of the event buffs. So yeah. Wait, you said yeah. you were 90 now? Yeah. Why would it go down? Because of the event buffs we currently have. Yeah, but you gain final the damage, right? Yeah, yeah, no, it's uh, 90 on uh, a dummy on my level, so mm -hmm. 271. Oh, right, 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 so, okay, uh, okay, okay, yeah. It should, like, only go down. Not gotcha, sure. yeah. yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, yeah, so you're and everyone else in the in the party is reaching uh, similar requirements? Yeah, something like that. Some are high, some lower, so uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, are you guys already doing, like, some, um, some pre-prep on, like, how to how to do the boss and everything? Yeah, yeah, we ran only once, and uh, we, we are a big community of like uh, a lot of uh, players uh, from Israel. So uh, mm -hmm. there was like a, a party of uh, people from our community. From the... They ran like seven times till they cleared, but like every time we watched and uh, mm -hmm. saw the vods and everything. Ah, I see, I see. Mm -hmm. so, like we learned the boss and everything about it. Mm -hmm. Also, I went in once to a fun run, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. Phase one is kind of. I mean. Phase one is just phase like, one if the color knows what shot. they're doing, it's really, one burst. really easy. Yeah. Phase two is pretty quick to learn. It's all about phase three, really. Yeah, fa phase two was also pretty easy. I died on like four times or three times. I'm not quite sure. Um, Do you know what you died to? Phase three, though. Um, 
mostly white and blackers. Mm -hmm. Probably um, maybe being a little bit on the left too much. That's usually in the beginning. Mostly you kind spikes. Of, spikes, yeah. Like you should move and all this stuff, you know. Yeah, if spikes are, um, if it's full max pipe, you could just zoom to the corner, right? Yeah, yeah. The thing but is, if also you... with whites and chains and everything. It's yeah, kinda... that's when you don't want to use your will skills. Yeah. Do you have that leveled up? Yeah. Um, I think it's level six, maybe. Let me check. Oh, I see level ten here. No, level yeah, ten, yeah. Because the 10. cooldown goes down a lot if you, um, if you get, if you level that one up. That might be useful. Um, I think the boss is pretty, you know, you can get better at it where you barely ever need it. But it's good to, um, to have it in your back pocket just to, you know, in the beginning yeah, to, to, to get longer practices. Yeah. Run, so yeah, but the cooldown is quite long, right? At that level? Yeah. Yeah, well, I guess, yeah. Which skills do you um, sacrifice when, yeah. you're, um, when you're running, like in your matrix? What skills what? What skills do you switch out? Like holy symbol and uh, yeah, blessing? Yeah, holy symbol for uh, the impenetrable skin and uh, the XP character building one, character building one to the um, heal one. Mm -hmm. Forget the name. Um, auto recovery. Yeah. Yeah. And um, and what do you put the bl the will skill in for? Um, I don't know if one of your. I mean, don't you need will skill in uh, black mage? Maybe? Oh, the will. Oh. Yeah. yeah. The uh, air. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I, I called uh, the other the true arachnid reflection because otherwise it gets confusing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the decent and the advanced blessing. Yeah. Okay. That seems reasonable. Yeah. And that's. Do you have one extra slot unlocked? Uh no. Oh, okay. When, when I get to 275, mm -hmm. probably I'll unlock one more and then I'll have two more slots mm -hmm. for everything. So you can get Blessing in and maybe Rope Lift for the stats or some crazy shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, what are you guys getting on the on the rework in the summer? I uh, what we're Aaron... getting an iframe, finally, on demand iframe. Oh, true. Yeah. And, and the uh, swing study is, is going to be longer five seconds. duration, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we don't have to basic attack every like uh, every three attacks. <laughs> every yeah. Yeah. So now it's only like every ten attacks or something. That should be more relaxing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's because it's already kind of stressful, so not have to juggle yeah. as many things. Even though one black mage, you use it to move. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like in every boss, you use it to move, but uh, now you don't have to like. Uh, Stress when you you wanna burst and uh, you don't have the swing studies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Percent uh, final damage, twenty percent damage. It's really huge. Exactly, and, and um, you're good with the um, you risk taker at um, at stage one, and then you try to do it again for like the first big burst at stage three, that kind of thing. I try, I try. Um, the first time it wasn't successful, but yeah, I tried. Yeah, you have to stack Freud's the whole time, right? Yeah, risk taker is kind of busted. Uh, I can show you. Uh, a video real quick of it. Moment. So you're still doing um, Oz to try to get an RR as well? Yeah, sadly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I got lucky. It's not really... <laughs> not even say. all three. I, I really want like some sort of roll. Yeah, because, good uh, three. Weapon jump is nice, but just not as good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Rafa this opened his boxes. This is how strong it is, by the way. I sent you a video. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, video is unavailable. There we go. That's what normal practice. Yeah, just wanting for uh, for fun, you know. Mm -hmm. See how fast can I clear the boss? It was like two minutes to thirty. Have your own bind. Having your own bind is quite nice, right? Yeah. Finally. We got it in a week. How much of your um, DPS is that? The um, all of the ice strikes the and stuff. Yeah. Um, around twenty percent. Twenty percent, I think. Wow. Or Fifteen, something like that. Mm -hmm. Pretty huge. Yeah. Yeah. The longer the burst goes, the the lower the percentages, I guess, because it doesn't last super long, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like fifteen seconds, I think. Yeah. Let me check. That's still pretty good. You've got that life steal too, right? That's gonna be huge. The life steal is kind of shady. On that one. Yeah. It's not what it used to be. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't apply properly. 
No, just uh, before uh, the Aaron rework was uh, really huge, you know, it's, it's okay, I mean, it's a drain, it's good to have, but not really good. Oh, okay. And um, you know about when you go into Black Mage not to use your pressure, your body pressure? Um, what do you mean? It's a reflect, right? Yeah, it's a reflect, but does it help me in any... If you go in phase one, um, bef- like you can you can aggro the statues with it. Oh. So you want to make sure you don't have it on when you go in. And then first you go to the side, right? You buff up, then you wait for the bind, and then you go back in. I see. Okay, okay. I think on my party, I'm the one who binds. Uh, not not okay. binds, who aggros the... No, well, then it's because fine. Because of voids. Yeah. yeah. Because you just... You aggro them, then you iframe, <laughs> then you bind them. Yeah, something like that. Like, yeah. I aggro them while being an iframe because 30 seconds iframe, you know. I see, I see. Yeah, because usually it's Kana and then you don't want someone else aggroing because then it's hard for the Kana to like gather them together, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm gathering them together probably and yeah. the Kana just comes in and... Uh, I see, I see. Binds yeah. them both, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Might be safer for the Kana that way, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. We um, should be able to burst uh, phase one mm-hmm. in a one bind. I think. Yeah, it's. I mean, 68 it's sixty-eight trill, right? I don't know the exact numbers. I just know you make like you can have a bunch of people at like forty, forty-one k stat, and you can just blow up hard lucid and hard will like it's nothing, right? But then if you're gonna mm-hmm. do black mage, you do need to. <laughs> you need a little bit more damage. Um, but like forty-four, forty-five, you start already getting really, really, really strong. And then the mm-hmm. jump between that and like 55 stats is, is even is even huge. And um, it's like looking back now at how strong the party was that I cleared with like for the first time, it looks like we were like super overpowered for it. Because now yeah, you were. Yeah. <laughs> it took you like 20 minutes, something like that. I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Also, so your bursts were like pretty huge. <laughs> yeah. You can see the HP while like moving really quick. Yeah, I've seen and some other parties too. where it's just like. They have like more D- DPM bursts, so like the burst lasts like a whole minute. So the bar just keeps going <laughs> for like a whole yeah. minute. Yeah. No, our party is not that strong. Like mm-hmm. it's only like I don't know how much above minimum, but it's it's not gonna be a fast run. Probably like forty minutes, even more. Well, from what, from what I heard, like the seventy. If you hit the seventy-five bill a second. For the whole party, mm-hmm. then you and you know you get better with the mechanics and everything. Then it should be around a thirty-minute run. Oh, okay. So this is usually what they I aim for know. because of all your buffs, right? You don't want to have to rebuff during the run because that's just very annoying. Well, you you can rebuff in phase four, right? But you want to get through three with the whole buffs, and then yeah. if you have to rebuff in four, it's whatever. Mm-hmm. But um, phase yeah, four should be pretty easy, as I understood. Yeah, I mean it's a little. I don't know. The first time I kind of was panicking because of my mobility and how it works exactly. But yeah, it's, oh, it's yeah. just about you, you just stay as close as possible. And then if there's a lot of balls, you just slowly move backwards. And as soon as they're gone, mm-hmm. you move close to him again. So you have a lot of space to move. And he get if he corners you, you either iframe or you just wait for a very big pattern. And then you move you move around him to the other side and then you do the same thing there. And oh, I see. Okay. yeah, you just don't, don't want to pressure yourself because you usually have more than enough time. You just want to make sure that all of your buffs are up and that you just go full burst. And um, for you, that'll probably just mean stacking your Freuds and then going super hard, right? Yeah. On phase four, stacking my Freuds would be easier. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, um, it's really like, it's almost like it's phase three, but he doesn't do anything anymore. Like there's no kicks anymore. And there's no, like there's the FMAs, but they're a lot simpler. And they're the same one always, right? So there's not two different ones. And um, he doesn't, like, he does animations and stuff, but he doesn't do kick anymore and, and, and suck anymore and that kind of stuff. It's really just the balls, and you're really in one color, so you only have to look at one of the two colors. The only thing that's really annoying is the big explosions. Um, and if you yeah, see... I saw exp- that. It's yeah. th- 33% damage or 40% damage? How much that? I think it's 50%. Like, they hit pretty hard. Oh. But you almost want to okay. move into them to make sure that you don't get hit by multiple ones, because they don't overlap very much. But sometimes when you run away from one, you still get hit by it, and then you get hit by another one that you're moving into, and then you die. Because <laughs> they hit okay, very hard. And sometimes the little balls, they go underneath your screen, but they're still there. 
And then if you jump over them too quickly, you might land in them and still take damage from them. That's a little weird. Because they, they go down very slowly. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it's... I mean, the first one I was... Well, my my glide didn't go off. I was trying to glide over them to, like, space them out. Um, like, my float, right? Not with the... Uh, yeah. Not with the blink, but with my base one that's way faster. But it just didn't go off and it was just flash jumping <laughs> instead of... Because it's like down and jump to activate on arc, right? And I was oh, just flash jumping yeah. into the balls like... <laughs> and then just yeah. into three times like that. And the second time I just played it much more safe. And I died one or two times to like weird explosion shit. But yeah, it's 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 really calm. You just have to be like... Whew, just, you know, don't do any weird shit and you're, you're totally yeah. fine, yeah. That happened to me in phase three. Um, there was an FMA, the up FMA, mm -hmm. and I tried to up jump, but I was so stressed that uh, I used my uh, um, like gathering hook. It's oh. like double up <laughs> yeah. attack instead of one up and attack. So yeah, I just died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're stuck Too on the ground. FMA. Yeah, it could happen. So, kick timings are pretty hard for me. I like. Like, cause you have no know. way of like you have Freud's and then you have your iframe that, but that's just your burst, right? You'd never want to use that one for burst, uh, for iframe. Mm -hmm. I mean, so it'll be a nice addition to your utility that you can get that out of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, um, I need more uh, practice runs and fun runs. Exactly. Uh, yeah. We, we are not even in full party yet. Like we are full people. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Okay. For now. I assume there's always a few people like on their way up, right, in the guild. Uh, not from the guild. It's from uh, our community and uh, oh, another guy we know from uh, Central. Is it from the from the Jew Discord? Yeah, from the Jew Discord. <laughs> well, it's a good fun when I go in there. <laughs> you you want to go in there? I'm Shai in there. The, I'm, I'm in, in there. there. <laughs> oh, you're in there. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'm in. Wait, I'm, one, I'm one of the Benezo up, dude. <laughs> Let me see. Wait. <laughs> I am the King Shahmuta. What do you? What do you? No, say? no, what we are mean? not in the same. Uh, we're it's a like different Jew Discord. Oh shit, how many Jew Discords yeah, yeah, are there? Yeah, different Jew, Jew Discord. <laughs> I think two. Wait. <laughs> it's not the one where there's like a red and a green character like <laughs> hitting each other? Is nope. The stick that's fingers? That's not ours. Oh, that's not the one? Okay, okay. No. That's the that's one I'm in. No, that... no. Our one is uh, Shai's one. Oh, okay, okay. He's the... You know Shai? Yeah, yeah, I know her. He's the leader. I see, I see. Like the admin. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we have three people from there and another guy we mm -hmm. met from Central a long time ago. We we're doing the Nebris system. So yeah. Ah, I see. I see. So you kind of just kept leveling together. So now we're just doing the same yeah, content. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. So your um, Legion is looking nice, but you really just hundred percent on one character basically, right? Uh, I have my second main, Evan, which mm -hmm. I'm going to invest more once I get to 75. I see, yeah. yeah. It's 22. And are you aiming for a certain amount of... You're just aiming for that damage, or are you aiming next to 275 for something else as well? Um, I don't know, actually. <laughs> just having fun on my Evan, so... I see. Yeah, because, I mean, what I found is that it definitely can get to the point, and I've, re uh, I've noticed this with a lot of people once they start approaching 275, is that the main thing that everyone just starts chasing 22 stars and it's just high, very high risk and then some people kind of like lose love for the game <laughs> because they just fail too much and yeah, i found myself happen. liking to invest in other characters instead because you, you're just more guaranteed to keep making progress and you don't really need the progress to all the 22s anyway on the main because you can already do everything right and then yeah, sometimes, I'm a 21 gamer, I'm not yeah, going okay. for 22s. Maybe CRA, I don't know. I, I have one CRA in 22. Because yeah. uh, one Benzonai, my uh, Discord, mm -hmm. uh, was craving for content. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I just tapped all my 21 CRA to 22. Mm -hmm. Two boomed, one go went up to 21. So, <laughs> uh, to 22. So, uh, one out of three, yeah, that's like a little yikes. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, okay, so we got your, let's see. Um, so I see familiars here. You got attack familiars for training. You're, yeah. what, you're training. No, no, in... That's my only familiars for uh, damage. And now there is a problem because once I go to 75, uh -huh. um, the place in Limini training is 25. I farm in. So uh, the thing is, after I get 275, I lose a bit of meso. Mm -hmm. You're going to say 275 all the way in Limina? No, no, I'm doing it in Serenum. Okay, okay. Uh, 
I, if I want to go back for familiars because I need those. Right, um, yeah. Yeah, or I'll the probably, Evan needs to start making familiars for you, right? Yeah, that's it. I'm mm. probably gonna use the Evan for that. Also, the Evan gonna make uh, more money, probably. Um, I, I think so, yeah. Once they're, um, once all their attacks start scaling up properly, they can hit very big... Uh, I mean, I think in Arcana even, they can make some really good rates, right? Yeah, yeah, around like, eight, I think, 800 an hour, maybe? Mm -hmm. or like, yeah, even more, I don't know. Yeah, probably. Um, like, I think my um, my Adele now is making roughly 800 an hour on, uh, like, with all the buffs on, right? And um, uh, in Arcana. In ability, 20%? Uh, yeah, I think I have, like, a 19 or something, yeah. Mm, okay, so, yeah, should be around the same. Yeah. Even better, mm -hmm. I think. Um, yeah, that, that was with uh, with Vecpet, though, so it'll be a bit lower if you are um, if you don't have that. Yeah, true. Yeah. No, my Ark was actually still making almost 700 an hour with, uh, with the Vecpet training. In, um, oh, I'm making like 650. In Arcus, yeah. With, in Cernium. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, Cernium, yeah. I think Cernium was around there for me as well, yeah. Six, 600, 650, something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Vecpets yeah, help good. a lot. <laughs> Let's see if they... Actually, not that much, like them. 50 mil per hour. Uh, I, I think it's just being able to just keep doing your loop without having to go out of your way and loot, loot on platforms. It just... Yeah, that's, that's important. It feels better, especially if you're kind of... For me, if I'm just reading a chat and kind of like zoning out, moment. then I don't have to. <laughs> Wait, did you say one more? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, my bar just came in. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, Shepard yeah. really helps with the uh, rotations because mm -hmm. you don't need to loot every time. Exactly. Um. So I'm gonna drop Mezzo set. You're at one. One forty drop. If you go. Uh, all equips full full drop. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and are you okay with backups? Do you feel like you're getting those at a decent rate? Um, like what backups? Like uh. I mean, the main mainly is like dominators and um. Oh yeah. And like uh, I have treasures, an explanation right? for every <laughs> every weird item I have there. Uh huh. No, it makes sense. I mean, because it's old, old times. having a superior pendant, 70 stars, and the drop item, it's kind of weird, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It used to be my second pendant because, uh, you know, before uh, Sweetwater uh, pendant was the, met was the, met the meta. So, yeah. Exactly. Did you ever transpose an earring? Uh, no. I see. I, see. Yeah. I did, so now I use it as a uh, mezzo gear for training. <laughs> yeah, understandable. Yeah, pretty good. Like, big, uh, good flames and stuff. Mm-hmm. Can really help with that, so yeah. Old Sweetwater Pendant. Before the flames can... I see, I see. So you just like mass yeah. made a new one with way better flame. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Also, that could become like a higher Star Force uh, training Mezzo piece as well. It'll have good stats. Yeah, right? I use it uh, for Mezzo. It's pretty useful. In you, Cernium. Yeah, so in Cernium now you're doing 100 Mezzo and then full damage for the rest? Yeah, also I have an... Uh, I think it's superior inks for Mezzo. To keep my uh, three set bonus, the thirty-five attack. Um, sorry, I just completely lost. Which sweet water set? No, not sweet. The superior uh, mm -hmm. earrings. Yeah. Is one for missile. Oh, I see. Because the set bonus. For the uh, set bonus. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Uh, that one's below. No, wait. Here. Let's drop this mezzo. Yeah. Okay. Mezzo and mm -hmm. stat. Mezzo. I haven't gotten lucky with um with double me mezzo yet, but you got the black bean mark that has both. Yeah, and it's 64 and 5. It's a nice flame. Mm -hmm. Three spare weapons, two spare capes, and a hat. Beautiful. It used to be my damage gear before uh, before I got my uh, pop mark. Um, The black bee mark, yeah, yeah, because you went up to nineteen, yeah. No, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And and the line of strength for the third one, so that's definitely something you wanna <laughs> you wanna build around. Mm -hmm. time one boom. You got the oh, you got the eye patch, nice. Yes. Also, the flame was like four boss flames, and I got <laughs> this one, yeah. which is pretty good. Mhm. Mm yeah, that'll take a a lot of work before you need to come back to that. What do we, to do with it now? That's your old monocle. Yes, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Actually, it's like the flame is really good in that one, and it's three lines, and I don't know what to do with it. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're using the bean mark now. I imagine that you just hold on to it, and if a new area comes out, and if you are going to train in a newer area, and you just need way more damage there to be able to train, then maybe you can just re-roll it, right? Yeah, maybe use it for missile, like only missile. Like. Yeah. Because drop, drop is not like relevant for training now in Serenium. Mm -hmm. I don't no. need node stones. I use all of them on my uh, heaven. No, sometimes I think they should they should not have added cards to Limina, but they should have added them to Cernium instead. Yeah, maybe. Because mm -hmm. Limina has too much value already <laughs> with the droplets and with all the money. Yeah, that's right. And then that's Cernium right. is kind of... I mean, the experience is really good there, but other than experience, there's no... You have a bunch of burning maps in Cernium that were really good and mm -hmm. not popular. Yeah, because people just in Limina are super, super long now. Um, yeah, also like there are some maps in uh, Cernium that are not as good as others because of the burning field that people don't use usually. I don't know, like in Cernium everyone is on Rampage 2 or 3, mm -hmm. while the library is pretty good and has, has like high flames, high, high burnings. Yeah, for library, so more I know the library in Burning Cernium is pretty popular, but yeah, I think in regular yeah. Cernium, the library, I don't know if many people train there, yeah. No, because the maps are harder for most classes. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Also, people just ignore the 20% uh, base bonus we got since Neo. It's, it, it's rough to really to really be that close to the monsters, though. I Like, I try to move up, and that's why I'm in Hotel Arcus now, but even now, the monsters I'm killing are 274, I think, or 273. But those are already... The hound bots? Uh, yeah, but the, <laughs> but yeah, I think 274, but those are the highest level monsters already. Like, I can't even go higher at this point, right? Yeah. So I'm already getting maximum bonus now. To be honest, no reason to go over 275 now. I mean, the new content we're getting in like one year is going to be 275. Yeah. So 280 is like kind of useless. I if see you want to do more damage for Seren, maybe. Yeah, for Black Mage, right? You still get more bonus damage for Black Mage as well. Yeah, yeah. But so... Some, I mean, it's mostly future proofing for people and just feeling like they want to keep doing progress and not um, like mm -hmm. leave their character completely <laughs> ignored, I guess. Yeah, yeah. That's probably what's going to happen to my Aaron after that. <laughs> I get to 75. <laughs> yeah, just Black Mage, weekly bosses, Evan. yeah, and everything else to the Evan. <laughs> In terms of like totems and stuff, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Most of the mesos that you're going for the uh, Aaron, probably. Mm hmm. Still have to get the 21 arcanes and the Shining Star Force event, maybe. I don't know. Let's see how much I can get. Also, I got a slime ring recently. I saw it, yeah. And it was uh, up here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. Grats what on should that. I do with it? Should I like just go for 21 with it? Or uh, use uh, can rings to 22 and then you know, make it 20 or something like that? So if you're in a pretty small party I have coins, so yeah. Yeah. if you're in a pretty small party you can get a lot of them um yeah it's a duo it's a duo and a kind of mm -hmm. um you, you could wait because there's some other projects that you're still working on right um i don't know what you're gonna do with your pendant though pendant is a little bit of a shitty position right or superior the, pendant? Sweet water one? the, the superior? superior yeah because it's 16 oh, now but it's, it's, uh, it's 18 now okay yeah yeah. You're just keeping, yeah. Are you just keeping Golux coins back up and going right on the pendant? Yeah. Because mm. all my uh, super are uh, 21 already, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the transfer with the Dominator is usually, you know, that makes it a lot faster, right? But then you have to redo mm -hmm. the potential. And I also don't do Arcarium now. Mm. I don't want to get another... I think Arcarium is still good value though, because if you get primals, it's still free rings for this one or for another character, right? I actually don't have any Meister rings on my account. Mm -hmm. Well, so Meister, or if you get a bunch of kind of treasures, is the ideal yeah. fodder into the uh, spare superior and then into your slime mm -hmm. ring. That, that's like the, you know, that that's what most people will do. They will just like send a bunch of Meisters or kind of treasures, transfer into superior. The thing is, what's better, like, Mesa wise, what's gonna be cheaper? Which way? I mean, the cheapest way is to always just go on the item itself. That's the cheapest, but that's the highest risk of... Uh, you need the most backups. And if the yeah, backup is rare, it just probably. takes longer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the... I'll the, probably just go for it. The, 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 the safest with the least backups, but the most expensive is to, like, 
23 superior into 22 guardian entering, right? <laughs> that's the safest for the <laughs> guardian yeah, entering. But that's but that's completely. And then so the, the middle way is the 21 into 20 into 21 into 20 into 21. Like that's yeah. the the middle grounds. So that's what most people will pick. We all saw though what happened to you with the <laughs> yeah. spare superior 22 you it get can, now. It can happen, dude. Yeah. You want my yeah, spare 22 superior? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, dude. Maybe, level wait. 285 area missile? coming out. Hmm? You made it missile, maybe? I was trying to go for it, but then with the... So because the 5 15 was coming up, I would try. I was like, I'm going to try to train in a hotel and see how well it goes. And if I'm too weak, then either I will upgrade my... Because um, I have a second transposed monocle, but it's 17 stars with double mezzo. And I thought I could star force that one for more damage. Or I... Or and add the uh, the ring instead of I think instead of my uh, pendant because my my pendant I'm using is a double mezzo um, 17 star superior so I'm losing a lot of damage there because I have um, um, I I could use my regular damage pendant there and then switch mm -hmm. the um, the Meister ring for the superior with you know being 22 so I barely lose any damage there and then going for double mezzo on that and that'll overall be like millions of range gain but it's very expensive right to, to just going casually roll double, double mezzo, mezzo. yeah because yeah. I I've rolled the runs I've rolled I you know that made me feel like it wasn't super hard to do but then I look at the numbers and I'm like Jesus like 20 bill on black cubes <laughs> it's actually yeah. pretty <laughs> That's pretty long. massive it was like red cubes are way better and then i used red cubes and i rolled double drop and like three red cubes i'm like see, see red cubes are better <laughs> but uh, <laughs> i didn't need double drop on it so i had to keep rolling um but um yeah, yeah so but, but also i got on my slime ring yeah. double mess and like <laughs> i didn't know what to do i just rolled it but you already upgraded the slime ring because it's, yeah, it's it's like clean here yeah. oh it's such an okay, okay yeah i well, used the only meister cubes and master governments it's went up really fast okay okay yeah because yeah. yeah, i mean it's two major ways of doing it, right? With the transfer or just a straight up. And if you're doing the straight up method, you are really just playing the long game. But as long as you're okay with that, you know, then it's totally fine. But if you want to be able to progress um, more reliably, because now what happens if it like booms from 18 to 19, you know, and then you have a backup, maybe that one booms 17 to 18. And then you just kind of yeah. like, you know, but if you can do a 21 to 20 transfer into it, then the chance that it goes wrong in the 20 to 21 multiple times is pretty small. Yeah. So it'll just rely on how quickly you get more drops. And I don't know if you're sharing with Akana or if you're doing mainly the looting. Um, no, because we are not sharing with Akana and my uh, partner already has a 21. Okay, online, yeah. So, mm -hmm. so it's very possible that you just like in the next two months or, or maybe in the next you know three months looking towards the summer event, maybe you get like two or three more and that it's just mm -hmm. a reliable this way and you might end up saving a lot of money that way. That For that slot, that seems the like the good way to go. For the pendant though, um, I mean, you're already at 18, but you know, 18 and 21 are <laughs> still very far away, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's going to be major cost to the Galax coins, but you had like, did you have a few thousand? Did I see that? Yeah, two yeah, I have three k. Yeah, and yeah. that's the only item I need for now. Yeah, that's the only one. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the superior is a twenty-one. So, yeah. So for um, fourth ring, you the solid. You're not going too hard because you mainly use the Oz rings there anyway. Yeah, the uh, yeah the solid ring is like it's a zona ring. So yeah. Yeah. Don't really need it to invest in that. Mm-hmm. Series of 21. Yeah, I mean, if anything, we go to 22, it'd be CRA first, but... Uh, yeah, I'm far from that. Probably gonna necessary. get my uh, Arcanes to 19 or something before. Yeah, and you have backups as well, so I think getting Arcanes to... At least to, eight, to 18 is actually yeah, kind of free during yeah, the 15 Yeah, I have two capes, 15. two spare capes, yeah. so I'm gonna... Though I don't know if I should save for the Shining event, or just, like, every event use the Meso I have. I don't know. Well, I so I I look at most upgrades. One like, do you want to or do you need to? Right. The thing is, yeah. Um, we we have to see what goes with a uh, black mage. Exactly. Like, if your whole party, you know, is like barely reaching like the seventy, to, you know, like the sixty-five to seventy, and you're like, we're kind of like struggling. But I I think the most. Because in Black Mage, as long as you can like run out the timer, you guys can clear it pretty much. Like if everyone is like roughly near the requirements, if you guys can stay alive, you can clear it. So it, a lot of it is just mm -hmm. there's going to be a bit more pressure on the mechanics and on doing well, but that's probably good pressure. 
you know, because you need to just do, do the mechanics properly and then you can get the efficiency out of your equips. And what I can probably see is that you guys are probably like clear once or twice, um, probably twice, right? Before the, um, before Shining, the event. Yeah. yeah. And then when Shining happens and you guys are already clearing, then you can just make massive, massive upgrades. Because the other thing is also by the time that comes around, if you don't need the damage, you might get even more backups for Arcane as well. Because I don't mm -hmm. know if, if you're running all of Tenebris. So we have some mm -hmm. time. Okay. Yeah, May and then yeah, and June is the update. Yeah, so you could get May and, May and June. Maybe April. We don't know. Yeah. We'll have to see. Mm -hmm. See how this month I goes. I have like, uh, I think, 10 keys. Maybe yeah, maybe keys is of course something to... that you need to look out for. Yeah. But there's, it's possible yeah, that with the summer event, we get the practice mode as well. So that would be... That's right, yeah. yeah. So if, we're going to use all our keys for uh, practice yeah. for now. Yeah. For your next character, Until you can, can do practice mode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll go Black Mage with Evan anytime soon, but yeah. Well, you see a lot of people, what they're doing now is like once they're clearing and liberating and everything, is they're just getting their next characters just carried on Black Mage. Yeah, because once like you only have to liberate, uh, you don't really... Need to invest much on your main. Exactly, yeah. I mean, you can. You Maybe can always you keep pushing. So. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's a lot of just sacred power. But what you, you'll see people do is, you know, even when everything is 22, they'll start like black cubing for double prime on everything and stuff on the accessories. Like they'll go pretty crazy. Yeah, I, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think you've got at that level. You can. Even though I'm really lucky, I think all the most of the three lines you see here, like happened in the same cube session in six build. <laughs> Six bill of cubes and you got so much. Fifty lines, bill of so. gains, yeah, yeah. A lot of the, yeah, a lot of nice three lines going on. Also like, the <laughs> star force I made like in twelve bill, five twenty ones from uh, eighteen. Mm -hmm. I think even six. I don't know. That's good progress. <laughs> you can, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty lucky. Yeah. Yeah, I can really be mad at that. The uh, guys in the community like. Are <laughs> pretty angry at me for being so lucky. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, it'll end soon. <laughs> yeah, it will end soon. It always has to end. Um, so I guess the the kind of treasure has some uh, potential, right, for the extra line. I guess while you're waiting and just mainly the saving thing money. Is, it's also going to be a uh, ring zone. So yeah? <laughs> After the next one, yeah. After I can get the slime ring, 21, mm -hmm. this one is going to uh, get replaced by another ring in the middle of a boss fight, so I'll probably keep it two lines for now. For, uh, okay, cause you, you, okay, you're just, cause you're just gonna replace solid with the slime and then get the kind of treasure be your third quote unquote, so you're okay with not three lining? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, because once I get my roll, I'll have three Oslings, so I'm gonna rotate a lot of rings, probably. Because I'm gonna use the risk taker while on Freud's and then mm -hmm. rotate my roar and weapon jump. Yeah. While I can. Your roar, yeah. <laughs> Once you, uh, when you get it. Yeah. About the ID, uh, Aaron really drowns in ID. I don't have any ID line, just uh, the Legion 40% I get. Yeah. Um, and I have oh, also the link skill. Legion the links and hyperstats, yeah. And then you just. Yeah. You get, so yeah. I have like nine. You can see ninety six point four mm -hmm. with the event buffs. Without it, it's nine point ninety four point like six maybe. I don't know. And that's um. You isn't it, don't you have like one or two attacks that have like extra ID on it as well? Yeah, Beyond Blade. Like and Beyond Blade. Crash. Yeah, and those are like uh, your biggest damage parts as well, right? Mhm. Mm that's yeah. right. Um, so yeah, and don't really yeah, no, them. they don't. Yeah. In the beginning, maybe like one line once you're getting started for the earlier bosses, but then pretty quickly. You need once winning, you're, yes. Your Legion and Lynx, then you can move away. Um, mm. So for the Sweetwater Tattoo, you're basically just like Berserked or or Summer Item? Yeah, Twilight Mark. Yeah. Waiting for that one. Yeah, Twilight Mark and then to, to combine with the Slime Ring. Yeah, I mean, I hope you get lucky with the Slime Ring drops. We still qu don't quite know how, you know, drop rate and equips drop and all of that stuff works. Could be an argument for you know somewhere there it's could be an argument. It's not that rare, to be honest. N no, for, really if you're doing common. chaos, yeah. If, you, if um, well, really common is a. <laughs> I, I think it took. Um, I think we got 
because I do it with a uh, Kana, and I think it was was it eight runs for or nine runs for two, I think. Okay, so you guys are. But we were a little bit unlucky. Really unlucky. Yeah. <laughs> from my experience, it like one in three runs should be fine, I think. Yeah, there was another party where the they had um, I think they had four drop in the first six, but then. I mean, but yeah. everyone blew them up from 20 to 21, and I got mine to 22 first try, so it was immediately, my Oof. kana was like, okay, I'll pick the next one, okay, we're done, we're just gonna do normal, <laughs> get the money, <laughs> get out, because <laughs> it's a pretty long boss fight, and if you could just do normal in one burst, it's easy money, and then you could just move on. <laughs> yeah, it takes us like 20 minutes yeah. to do it with the kana. So exactly, yeah. It's kind of long. Pretty much 20 minutes. Uh, also, Will and Lucid, we're doing duos with the kana, and mules, mm -hmm. uh, so... Twilight Mark gonna be okay to get. I mean, also I think so, probably yeah. gonna transpose it to uh, at the two, right? Um, from what I heard, it depends on what your percentage damage total is. Um, if your percentage, oh, I see. yeah, because the because the set bonus is is on the two set, right? It's plus ten percent damage. Yeah. Also, you can have a three set maybe. Um, if you replace Sweetwater pendant with a yeah with the Vigila one, the mm -hmm. new one. From what I saw, though, the three set bonus wasn't really great, though, was it? Uh, let's check. Uh, was, it in, was it in the Adventure Remaster that came out? And people are gonna clear Chaos in like a year and a half, probably. I think. I don't know. I, I think no, people maybe are. A year. Okay. Yeah, I think max I a year, per, somewhere between six months and a year. I think. I mean, and most six bosses months, take more than six months. I think Black Mage took almost a year before it was killed, right? When it came out. Uh, I think even more. Actually. Yeah. Because so, I, if I remember correctly, the first reboot clears were one year after Wake in GMS. Uh, not after Wake, excuse me. Uh, like a few months before Wake. The first mm -hmm. clears. Uh, what's it called? Dawn? Yeah, Dawn Bosset. Yeah, can... Was it part of the Colossus just... update? I keep forgetting where it was. Nah, it's before it. It's in the... Dawn's Boss it's already already master one. December 30th. Yeah, it has to be in there, right? Yeah. Just didn't know quite what to look for because you have a giant fucking patch notes. <laughs> 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 has to be the same, uh... The exact same word, otherwise can't find Don boss accessory December 30th might actually be before this then all jobs balanced it was December 21st one it was before all of this stuff came out part of maple story destiny okay probably here yeah 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 see the oh nice thank you all okay right. let's go so, oh, so yeah, it's yeah. 10 all stat and 10 attack. Yeah, and 250 HP. So I don't yeah, I'm not a Demon Avenger, I don't care about Yeah, <laughs> Well, even Demon Avengers <laughs> don't care about 250, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we care about yeah, Star I, Force I, more. Like, one star is al is already like 100 and, was it 135 or something, or 150 HP. I really expected them to uh, rework Demon Avenger in a way, Destiny. They did. Like before, I mean, it's a lot of work. Uh, it's a lot of differences. Yeah, but it, it's they're still like bottom tier. You see, like I expected them to, you know, at okay. least like sort of uh, match Demon Slayer in some sort of ways. Like at least it's very high risk, know, so high reward. Idea, yeah. I mean, you you could if you can keep the. Um, it's like the Lord of the Deep, right? But we can actually stay really close because we have the survivability, unlike the <laughs> unlike the Buccaneer had. So Lord of the Deep mm -hmm. was very yikes for Buccaneer because if you have to be that close, and they got the extra iframe to give a little bit of survivability there, but it's it was still very high risk to be that close. But a Demon Avenger can be completely on top of the boss at all times, which I think will translate to quite a lot of damage. Yeah, right, okay. Because when you look at Demon Slayer, a lot of their damage also comes from... Um, um, what's it called? Survivability, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but they have that, that thing um, that's like technically an iframe, but it's also like damage around them the whole time. Oh, the uh, metamorphosis something? Yeah, dark metamorphosis. That's actually a, a decent chunk of their damage because it's yeah, just isn't always... like really weak? I thought so, but people said like, I mean, you boost it and it actually is really strong. 
It's actually is a decent okay, part of your weird. damage because it's you know even when you're not doing anything you're mo focusing on surviving it's still doing damage the whole time. It's like fire poison mm -hmm. with all the DOTs right if you keep stacking them all you do that properly. DPM actually gets pretty good. Yeah, blue blood is uh, a <laughs> blue blood is uh, blue blood is of course OP. Yeah. <laughs> Also gonna be a toggle now, pretty good for them. Mhm. Mm yeah, yeah. Just like um, d uh, frenzy is gonna be pretty much a toggle now as well. Which is, I mean, it was already a toggle, but with a two-minute cooldown, which is <laughs> not a toggle. Um, <laughs> but now it's like half a second cooldown. So yeah, people get a level one. No, that's only people who are bad at the bosses. Usually, people who are high level bosses, they level it so that they get more damage because they don't really need the extra cooldown on the iframes they're usually fine they get cooldown skip on top line and then they already have enough invincibility plus bane is going to be full invincible on the rework as well so people yeah, that's also good for do most tend of to like lotus or something yeah you just stand there and just <laughs> and you yeah, don't that's, do anything that's how it should be to be honest i mean yeah well you would say that mr uh, freud's blessing <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> um so Dude, you, freud is so broken yeah <laughs> it's like three cur rings in a row yeah <laughs> It's so good, yeah. <laughs> Alongside uh, Risk Taker, this, y you've seen the video, I mean. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, Almost yeah. one burst Dark Nell yeah. on my gear. Yeah, it's looking quite nice. I mean, Dark and Dark Nell is already kind of annoying, but being able to ignore all the annoying shit is uh, really, really valuable. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm doing weekly Dark Nell uh, after I do Lotus and Damien, mm -hmm. and it only takes like two minutes of nothing, I mean. Yep. Don't even struggle, so yeah, that's kind of fun. Yeah, so Star Force wise for the big stuff, I would probably wait until the, um, at least until the twenty percent off. If they, if we do get the special Star Force event, event, that's even better, right? You can do a whole lot of stuff with your money then. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I, I would, yeah, would do any crazy stuff. Like if there's a five ten fifteen, and you want to try your slime ring because you have a backup, you know, you can do that, but. Yeah, for like I'm the really, you know, for like the really big projects, I would probably just mainly save. Um, there's some potential stuff you could work on. I'm wondering what your gains would be on your weapon to switch to two line attack with a line of boss instead. Yeah. So before it was two lines attack, only like twenty three attack. Um, like a month ago, I mm -hmm. just changed it, and uh, my friends told me to keep it, which is, I mean. Mm -hmm. I think I have too much boss damage now. Yeah, but that's know. what I'm kind of afraid if of. If I get a boss from here, I'll probably just... Uh, yeah, because you have no game. boss familiars right now, right? That's, yeah, that's true. If I get one. If not, just... Uh, yeah. yeah. And Should the other thing is your, your emblem is also... Yeah, I don't know annoying where it's at. Then. So, I mean, what I did for me is like when everything was pretty much 21 and was two and a half line and the arcane was... Um, like 19. Um, then I just I went in. Uh, maybe I actually was 17 or 18 on the on the arcanes. Maybe I waited a little bit longer uh, on the arcanes. But the emblem, the way I saw it, it was like 30 bill on discount cubes is like the average for a three line attack. And I spent that, and I got it in exactly that much. So, um, th that worked Should out. Should I though? I mean, six percent for 30 bill. I don't know. You'll get to the point where that makes sense, for sure. 6% attack yeah. is a lot. That's... Yeah, that's quite huge. Because, um, especially if you don't need to... Well, mainly if you don't need to crit rate anymore, right? Uh, it, it helps, you know, but... Because I don't have any crit on my uh, hypers. You can see only 4. And yeah. uh, nothing in the Legion. 1% on the Legion, so... Yeah, you, could, you could very easily move some from the attack and the strength into the crit rate, though, right? Yeah, I can get by them with that. Mm -hmm. Definitely. That's an easy. Mostly easy on the fix. hyperstat one. Yeah. Because after level five, you get two percent every level. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, and leveling anything else past twelve and thirteen gets pretty expensive. So <laughs> it's pretty much only mm -hmm. going to go into crit rate anyway. Yeah, I, I can lose like four percent boss um, for you know getting the crit rate to level nine. Yeah, it's also possible. Because I'm thinking, I mean, yeah, you're looking at huge projects. Um, the um, but the Star Force ones, yeah, I, I would probably wait until the summer to do that. So I would take up... So I guess it's kind of up to you if you just want to... If you're okay with all the damage, you just 
do mass saving, then do the Star Force projects first, and then once they are at where they're at, then you circle back to your WSE, and then you optimize that. Because then, I mean, it'll make more sense at that point as well, you'll be done with 275 and everything, that you can throw everything into a calculator and be like, this is the actual WSE lines you want to look for. And maybe if you get more familiars by then, that'll kind of solidify your um, what you're looking for exactly. But also, it, I try to solo hard wheel mm -hmm. um, at my current state to see if I can, you know, maybe at one point uh, liberate with uh, my current gear. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got to like 40% health, maybe a bit more. Mm -hmm. um, but I failed with Freud's and I died uh, a lot in phase one and phase two. Mm. I went in on phase three with like uh, five health, I think. Mm -hmm. Five lives or six. I think the main thing the is that you want to... out in like three minutes. So yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. The main thing is that you want to go into phase three with everything off cooldown so that you have everything available. Yeah, and that's do a big quite hard burst. because you lose life in, in uh, phase two because, you know, it, it's hard to do phase two properly after you do it with like tons of healing from you yeah. and you don't even use potions. Mm -hmm. Like, oh shit, I need to use Moonlight now. And there's Moonlight built so slow, you have need to do yeah, so well at dodging. Yeah, so it's the lead. Yeah. <laughs> like. yeah. yeah, no, totally, yeah. I was trying to do it, the, like a duo with my mom yesterday. Trying to, mm -hmm. you know, help her on positioning and when she needs to heal and when she needs to move. While tr also trying to do the boss at the same time. And apparently I was in my mobbing hyper skills as well. So I wasn't as strong as I could be. And I was like trying to live and <laughs> dying to random shit as well. Got into phase three, yeah. but yeah, it's... um. Yeah, you, you kind of lose track of how strong bosses can be if you're just always just destroying them with a <laughs> with a group, and you're like, oh damn, yeah, <laughs> when you're soloing, because yeah, I guess also, for phase three uh, you switch to healing uh, from healing to boss, right, uh, for damage. Yeah. Oh yeah, I switch usually even though I don't have really good formulas and just uh, you know need to min max everything I can with my damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Once my domain becomes iframe, and also when the um, uh, Erda's Will has a shorter cooldown. You can also use that in phase three, like for the webs and everything, right? You can immune mm, for a little could. bit. Yeah. That should help, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I should also time my points uh, for the three minute mark when where the all, all the webs fill out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like one in the beginning, and then when the fort comes back, it'll be like danger time. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to use it like at the start of phase three because. I won't have it for uh, when the webs fill out. That's be that will be like. What's the what's the cooldown? Really four minutes. Mm, four minutes. Oh, nice, yeah. well, once you're strong enough, usually in the beginning you want to have like if you're poisoned, then you want to be able to do a fuck ton of damage during that initial poison when you have everything up. How much is poison? Uh, Ten percent fine damage. It's oh god, I think it's plus. Is it plus thirty percent now? It used to be plus oh, one hundred percent, and then they. Plus 100. <laughs> yeah, it used to be wow. double damage, yeah. And then they nerfed it. I think it's 30% now. It's also pretty huge. It's like a domain. Y yeah. Yeah, but it's pretty short, right? It's pretty short. And plus, if you're soloing, it's really cool. But then if you're... Th that's the one redeeming factor about soloing is that you always get, are the one who gets poisoned. But then, you know, yeah, sometimes you just want to <laughs> keep everything, use nothing until you get poisoned and then go hard. But yeah, the, the annoying part is that a lot of his animations make him uh, immune for a little bit. And he'll yeah, just right. not get the hit. So. The, yeah. And the yellow eye. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll probably check with uh, another Arans before you will. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And that's yeah, that's the main thing I would say also. And especially with Black Mage. If, if you're un, like, un, unsure for some things, um, specific Arans. And there is quite some Arans who are, who, who are liberating and who are liberated, right? Because yeah. Aaron is one of those classes that's like actually really good, but <laughs> for some reason people just kind of like give up on them, but they're actually really, really good. I think it's the combo thing that for some people is just a little bit too much. Um, maybe, I don't know, but the combo thing is really like not an issue anymore, to be honest. Well, I think well, the thing you were talking about, like if you just press the wrong arrow key accidentally, you're dead instead oh. of alive. You know, for some people that can be a little bit too stressful. It's a little bit too I much see, pressure, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can see that. And, um, yeah, in general, people, a lot of people will just want more the the simple class, like simpler classes, right? That yeah, that's what people don't use Aran as a boss in Mule, even though it's one of the yeah, I'm, best in terms of damage and like everything. I else. know my Aran is um, 
uh, six set Cygnus with a uh, um, Sweetwater weapon. <laughs> I, I'm gonna like destroy Siri. I already know it because like I cleared normal uh, Cygnus on it quite easily before the final damage change. So like mm -hmm. CRA should be <laughs> should be e and that was before the bind and everything. So yeah, it should be. Oh, before the bind. So before the yeah. hunter spray. Even yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I mean, I have to figure no, out how to do Hunter busted. Spray because I tried to do the combos when I was training on it for, like, the big tornado, but it didn't seem to always work. And the combo that they say you have to do doesn't work. Like, you have to, you have to like, pause in between some keys. Otherwise, it doesn't work properly because of EU ping. Yeah. The it, tornado one, you just, like, you use it. Once you see the animation, the teleporting thingy, you press the attack key again. Yeah. Like, you, you just, like, releasing the press again and... It should work, but uh, the skill is kind of useless. Like, it's really not that good. No. It's re really weak. I mean, not even one shot most of the time. I guess for mobbing, if the map size allows it, but I guess in general, for Aaron, you're a little bit more in, in bigger s maps and you just like zooming yeah. through them, right? Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I said uh, Library 5 is pretty good for Aaron. But for other like, you just like diagonal, no, like, <laughs> go through and just yeah. hit things on the way? Mm -hmm. I made like 27% uh, and, and told them like uh, at uh, 264 when I was, uh, when I was uh, in their level. Mm. 27? Easy to train them. 27, yeah. With MVP and everything. Yeah. I'm making almost 8 now. <laughs> I'm happy yeah, with that's, that. Th these levels are really rough. I'm making yeah. only 12, 11 now. Mm. Yeah, I'm at 276, yeah. so you get another 50% cut there. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, so after 275, the um, level XP multiplication like mm -hmm. goes up a lot, like every level, not every five levels. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it's just a huge chunk of EXP that gets multiplied, and when the lower levels, you're just like, oh, it's just you know, it's like the same for the levels. And then it just dub doubles every 10, but you can't really <laughs> ignore the individual level multiplier at those higher levels. It becomes a serious amount. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It uh, becomes really hard mm -hmm. at those levels. I, yeah, so I, I think once the software thing stuff is done, you definitely want to circle back to the to WSC and optimize that. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, and I, I guess then after that, it would be like flaming, right? Yeah, the helmet one, I try to, you, you see the uh, CRA helmet, mm -hmm. try to uh, reframe it to get something better, but ended up with on the same level of flame yeah. with that one. It's so like just over 100. I'm keeping for now. Like, yeah, it's probably fine. Mm -hmm. But you, ideally, you know, you want to get closer to where the top is at. That's the... Yeah, that's, the that's what one. I tried to do. Mm -hmm. Didn't work. Sadly. Yeah, and then you have a mule and you use two flames and it's better than your main CRA and you're like, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's gonna happen, you know? I think it was like 10 flames on my cannoneer and I had 68 and 6 on my dominator pendant. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> like, why? Yeah, wish I could eat, like, again. <laughs> why can't I get that on anything on my arc? But okay, you know, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Now that one has a good sweet water pendant. Um,. Yeah, I mean it's it's yeah, and keep doing us for the ROR, right? That's the that's the meme. I would definitely level the the skill though, the um the Urd as well, just to have it on shorter cooldown. I see. Okay, I'll probably invest some nodes on that. Yeah, it'll now. be more reliable that way. Now most most of my nodes is just going for the Evan, mm -hmm. even though he's also pretty high. Like boost nodes are max already, also. Skill notes are like 15. Yeah, it doesn't really matter now, but... Uh, yeah, it can kill everything I can, uh, it needs to, right? Mm -hmm, With those numbers? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, because it, you'll... It, it's a good habit to get into just pressing the key and then having it, and the cooldown is just massive if you don't level it. Let's see, how much is it now uh, for me? Uh, I think I have it maxed. Oh, I'm not on character. Okay, 430 for now. So, at your level, how much is that? I think it, when it's a good level 30, I think it's... Is it two? I think it's two hundred seconds. Okay, so yeah, um, pretty big difference. So, uh, so I think you can use it twice as much. Hang on, to the number. Oh no, three, three thirty. Hang on, so three sixty. 
Oh, okay. 360, so, uh, 234? Or 330, yeah. And you have it now... And how much is the normal one? 430? 360, okay. So, so it's uh, a 475, yeah. At 25, they are the same. So at 25, uh, Erda's wheel is just like Heal's wheel. Wait, why does it say 355? I thought it was 360 oh. at... Yeah, 360. Excuse me. Right. Huh. So 24, yeah. Yeah, it's around the same, yeah. But then with the max level, yeah. I guess with uh, decent combat orders... Um, oh, with decent combat orders, the heroes will goes down to 300, I think. Is it? Let me see. I believe, because well, it goes okay. from 5 Let to 6. See. Because those are... You only have a yeah, few levels, right. so it's a huge difference. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. 300. So instead of 1 on 360 and 1 on... Well, instead of 2 on 360, you have 1 on 300 and 1 on 330. So that's... You know, in the longer boss fights, that does mean one or two more uses, and then yeah. that can, and, and because the main thing in in will is if you do die to the differences with the curses, a lot of times you lose two lives, right? So if you can use it two more times, and every time you save two lives, then that's four lives saved. That could be a big difference. Yes, that's right. And you've got your blink max. So that's all good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the de leveling decent skills actually doesn't matter at all anymore, right? Because, I mean, once you have... If you use pet auto buff, you can just keep him level 1, actually. <laughs> yeah, and that's right. But you can get some all stats from that. Yeah, you? like 5 total. <laughs> I mean, yeah. sure, but you imagine how many nodes that is for, like, another character to just be a mossing mule for free. Yeah, I, you I just, like, it. you know, yeah. uh, use them if I get them. I mean... In, like, 2 years, they'll make it so that if you extract... Uh, know that you get all of the value back and then <laughs> then I'll probably will do that it's like fuck it just extract them make a level one <laughs> equip the level one <laughs> and then just send all the nodes to other characters I don't know by that time maybe you have like thousands and thousands of nodes and it doesn't matter anymore but mm -hmm. you probably have a, yeah. a nice bank of uh, nodes I imagine actually no <laughs> I just use all of them every time I have okay, okay. I can for now I have 84 <laughs> okay, okay yeah okay I mean, yeah, if you're really dedicated to one character and one side character, you don't really need a whole lot of them. Oh, I, I yeah. guess... Also, I have a, yeah. a boss mule blaster I'm just starting to work on. I see, I see. Uh, okay. Yeah. The yeah, I was going to ask one. about that because of, like, income, you know? You, I mean, you're always going to be able to make it... De if you, As long as you make your character, your, your Aaron, like, up to speed with everything, you can always make decent rates even when you're just training. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, upgrades get pretty expensive <laughs> at a certain point so um it's good to have stable income stable like standard income from bossing mules and all that stuff yeah and with no kana i should make more bossing mules to be honest but mm -hmm. i don't know you probably have a bunch of little 200s right that can um yeah yeah can send up and some 210 some little three links i don't know like hoyong arc uh dell like my is one two is 120 um dell can be a good option for me um yeah i'll see i'll see mm -hmm. i don't know for now i really don't have the time to invest in uh, mm. another bossy mule sure yeah I, no point in spending a lot of money if you know you're not gonna have the the time to weekly run the boss anyway and make your no, money actually, back not weekly running the boss just investing <laughs> well, just investing yeah. okay yeah yeah because yeah, it, it'll make more sense to just hold off um for the like summer and see what we get. everything you know yeah yeah no it's a lot for sure um but yeah, other than that, I would just go off of if you need, if you really need more. Um, the the one thing that I'm, I kind of have like a question on is like if you would want to scale up on more drop rate. Uh yeah, I mean once I get the slime ring to twenty one, I can make the the solid one to drop maybe, mm -hmm. and just get another event ring probably, uh, on destiny or before I don't know. Yeah, because you have two rings now, yeah. Yeah. And now what's the only thing you're missing is like an eye. Oh no, you have the face, the eye. No, I, I have everything. Oh, then you have everything. Of, just missing yeah. two rings. That's it. Yeah, then you have 180, yeah. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I just find the amount of flames and cubes that you get, that just adds up as well. And that'll help you fund other characters without needing to directly spend the money, right? You just get material gains. And then that yeah. that will fund the bossing mules uh, automatically. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, you can I'm... get by with a unique... Yeah, for sure. Especially when with that legion and with those links, you can you can get by with unique and very easily get into killing those bosses. And then especially if you just do a little bit of dailies, just to get the arcane power up, then they'll just you know they'll level because of the experience from the dailies, and they'll get into the new areas. And then before you know Wait, it, you're doing everything. In Destiny, I think once you clear uh, a daily with one character, you just can pick up the, the symbols on others' lights. 
Um, it's just with the prequests. Just the prequests, yeah, yeah. Not like the doing the dailies, um, and then that would be that would be nuts, dude. You should pitch that. <laughs> that would be some good shit. Damn, I, I wish, dude. <laughs> you do that one character, pick it up on fifty characters. Damn, that's a lot of symbols. <laughs> I mean, it could work perfectly with the I bossing you method. Yeah, I do like five hours a day of dailies. Just do one and then just logging in, crashing six times on the relogs on all the <laughs> characters, get all the free symbols. Yeah. I don't know where I heard that, but uh, <laughs> that really sounded like, uh, I mean, Yeah, that's like the autocomplete. Yeah, that would be nuts. A bit too much. Yeah. <laughs> no, but even even just the prequest is also really cool because now a lot of times I'm like, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I may be like 225, but I haven't even unlocked Choo Choo yet because I'm just like, Ugh, fuck. <laughs> this is, I'm just leveling through Monster Park. I don't need that shit, you know? Or I'll do the prequest just to do the higher level Monster Park, but that's it. And then never do a single. And Magnus 1, Ercarium, everything. Yeah. Just, Ping Bean, I mean, wow. I'll just yeah. avoid, like, I'll, I'm just skipping all Abzo, just so I don't have to deal with those weeklies. <laughs> just, I'll just go from, like, Necro yeah. here to Arcane. I don't, <laughs> I, need this, I don't need this stuff in my life, you know? <laughs> uh, but people are making a lot of strong blessing wheels, probably do want to get the Abzo, because, I mean, it's, 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 it's decently easy access to a lot of damage, for sure. Yeah, of course, like, also because of, uh, you know... Uh, the community, I mean, is pretty big, so we have a lot of uh, people that can carry hard Lumion like, mm -hmm. every week if I need. Because I, I carry people a lot, usually. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, once people know the mechanic, in the beginning it was like people just die out, but now everyone just knows what to do. Yeah, yeah. Did you notice this as well? But you haven't done Black Mage that much. But um, I guess Hard Lois and the Hard Damien are already, you know, they're like not the easiest bosses, but they're pretty straightforward. But once yeah, you start, um, one thing I noticed mainly once I started doing Black Mage more and get better at that, Hard Lotus and Hard Damien are just they're, they're so easy. Like they're <laughs> like Hard Lotus seems like nothing is going on. It's like you're just hopping oh, really? around. Yeah, it just feels like it just feels like normal Lotus again because it's so RNG though sometimes. Yeah, but Black Mage is so much more RNG and is so difficult, and there's just so much going on that you have to take it to, to look at. That it makes normal, uh, even uh, hard lotus seem like there's like it's just super simple. Like you could do it with like your eyes closed or something. It, it becomes comparatively so easy. It's like when you learn to do um, hard will. Like in the beginning, lucid is kind of complicated, right? You got the lasers and you got all the dodging and dude, there's quite a lot of stuff yeah, going yeah. on. But once you do hard will, game. lucid is like there's nothing going. <laughs> like yeah. you just walk Same in front of the gloom. laser. After you you do gloom like with a piece of cake. Yeah, yeah, and you. I really felt that once I did more uh, Black Mage, Lotus, Lotus is still BS. I, no, since since I've been doing Black Mage stuff, Hard Lotus is just like, oh, you just burst it down, and then you just you know try to swap key. You know, <laughs> like you have enough lives, yeah. you try to change gear in Hard Lotus. You know, at your level, you can do Hard Lotus in like five minutes, right? It well, I usually still duo it with um with the Kana just because it's. I mean, it's more fun that way. But yeah, it's really it's really fast. I think we just like. We single burst through one, two, and then into three, and then just get the cooldowns back, and then blow up, th blow it up, or just get almost blow it up, and then like try to switch gear, and then do one more bind kill. It's something like that. But if you really would like go for the kill and try to go for as fast as possible, yeah, it's. I don't remember how fast it is, but we did it on Maple Fest, right? It raced with uh, with Matt, where we both tried to uh, to kill it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't remember how fast it was, but you know, if you could just face roll into things because you're trying to go as fast as possible and just like throw some lives at the boss and then get the <laughs> eight second invincibility to actually be able to do your damage like, yeah you can actually kill it really fast yeah mm -hmm. but yeah it's still waiting for that drop just like you right i mean the berserk um hopefully yeah. can give you a chance two eye patches zero berserk for now mm -hmm. uh, but yeah that's what we're at too yeah two eye patches zero berserk yeah you know pray we'll for the... get them one day <laughs> yes we will get them um, but yeah, I mean, I hope you get lucky with the familiars because um, you do, for familiars, do you have a large drop rate familiar? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's yeah. That's I, don't, so I mean, I don't know. Though. Some people I mean, like rush for unique first, and then they kind of like skip past that one. I always advise mm -hmm. people to go for the large drop rate first, so you get way more st cards, and then make uniques, and then go for the more yeah, difficult. To, to be honest, hitting familiars and drop familiars are super easy to get. Mm -hmm. I, I have like four drop familiars, and like hitting familiars. I mean, we don't even. Like have to talk about that. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. uh, every second for me, I like try to go for boss. It yeah. ends up uh, with a uh, healing. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I hope you get that boss damage. Uh, uh, yeah, and then I'm, and then I'm pretty sure that the weapon will want to go for two lines attack, um, and then and then the emblem will probably be not too long after that. Because it's like the same potential that I have on my um, arcane weapon on my hero, and mm -hmm. I feel like your and for my hero, I think it's like it's probably good enough. But I feel like your Aaron is like way past the stage of where my hero is at, and it probably um, can yeah could probably do better but again there's yeah the star force thing is probably more safe gains um especially if you get more backups before then um and we just have the potential for huge gains there um it's almost like the maple maple c uh event right you remember that one <laughs> um what's one you think about? they had some crazy event where um i believe you could use some kind of potion and then during the potion time the chance for um, failure would be also? would be cut in half, yeah. Oh, and there I was also one where the chance for booming was also cut in half, so you could like stack those two, and everyone basically got like free twenty two arcanes because the chance to get it on like one piece was like ninety plus percent, so everyone basically just tapped everything from seventeen to twenty two. <laughs> that just breaks the game to yeah. Best, but yeah. It was yeah. almost it felt like a really desperate like please keep playing our game. Look at all the free stuff you could get. Like it, yeah, Maple is dying. It felt I like a desperation that. to <laughs> hold on to the player base. But, you know, mm -hmm. it's not, maybe not good, but hope it won't happen to GMS. I think that no, yeah, wouldn't yeah. want that. Hope not. I mean, there is already a pretty small community. I mean, are you saying that community wouldn't want a Guardian Angel event? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think they would. Like, every, everyone know it would just break the game. Like absolutely. I don't know, man. <laughs> you dangle the possibility of free higher star force in front of people. I think they no, would no, want I it. don't want it. <laughs> just too much. Too waiting. much. Yeah, I think it's too much. Yeah, it, it, it just feels like a desperation move. Like they have to make up for they're making up for something or trying to hold on to people who actually mm -hmm. want to leave. It's probably what not they do need to make though is the uh, lap level too. Maybe. Yeah, that would be cool with sickness nights. What happened, though? It would be cool if they uh, if they bring that back. Won't happen, definitely. The only TMS events we're getting now are the celestial ones. Probably go gonna get the Rian one next year, I think. Yeah, and apparently the like what uh, TMS's version of Kishin is what we're getting as well. So we're copying a lot of their stuff. Yeah. Because it's already pre-made. Well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think that uh, sums it up, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um, don't know if you can think of any other piece. Yeah, I guess keep working on the sacreds, but yeah, that's just slow and steady, right? It takes It's so expensive. It takes forever to level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I got mine to level... Was it level 8? Was it level 8 and 7 or 9 and... Yeah, I don't remember where I'm at even. I have Did 160. I so? Yeah, 9 and 7 is where I'm at. Jesus. <laughs> it's like 800 plus symbols, I think. Or 900? Yeah, I think 900 symbols? Or 808 or something? For the... Ugh. It's... Yeah. Just... Yeah. It, it can take like up to four months to... Yeah. Yeah, it's insane. It and then the new boss again. was... Is it like two... 250 and 300. 250 yeah. and 300, yeah. So you, you even need a third symbol at a high level to even get decent rates there. Yeah. God, and the intervals are so unforgiving. But, you know, we just uh, keep on trucking on and one major clusterfuck of a boss at the same at the time. So Black Mages is, is next first, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Um, well, yeah, hopefully um, it helped you uh, organize the thoughts a little bit. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. And, um, it was also good talking with you. Yes. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> I assumed that it was almost more for that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, maybe. It is uh, it is interesting to just uh, shoot the shit sometime, you know? Yeah, just uh, having some talks about the game. Yeah. Anyways, exactly. thank you again. Uh, have no, a nice stream. No problem. Thank you. And uh, good luck with everything. Uh, hopefully the Black Mage uh, runs go well. And uh, mm -hmm. wish you good luck on your first clear. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. All right. So that was just a uh, short little update overview uh, kind of a catch-up i think it was our second or th was it our third session maybe might have been might have been our third one second or third uh in a in a while and uh yeah so just his progress is uh barreling down onto black mage territory with this party it's looking good aurora will change a lot but um i think these crazy rings will 
also are taking a lot of pressure off of his gear needing to be like super decked out you know like everything 21 arcane at 19 everything three line um having good oz rings definitely takes the pressure off of that and the risk taker four is huge for a class with freud's so um that does allow him for the people who don't know freud's basically it's a long cooldown skill and you have to use it multiple times to stack it to get a stronger effect but once you get the last effect it's 30 seconds of iframe and you, you're just wailing on the boss so especially in a boss like the black mage you get to do just all the things that you usually want to do like you're actually attacking a dummy you know like actually 30 second ba you know <laughs> like uh, the boss isn't doing anything and uh, you can just wail on him so that helps you commit a lot of damage to to the boss so that's a really good shit um but yeah i hope uh hope he gets the guardian angel ring up there soon especially on those projects right where he's going right on the um, on the item for most people the advice would be get dominators get dominators to 21 during uh, you know up to 15 during 30 percent off up to 21 during a 5 10 15 transfer it into a superior try to tap the superior 20 to 21 and then work on the potential but if you've already got the potential then it, it's it comes down to a little personal decision plus you know he has a lot of coins and no nothing else to really work on except for you know the slime ring would be to do the same thing right that we talked about but if he's a primary looter and he's doing chaos and he's not in any distress and he seems like a very patient player, then you might as well just do it on the Guardian Angel Ring uh, straight up there as well. Chance to boom, but if you can get backups, you know, it's totally fine. There's no, you know, there's no rush. So a lot of people try to like rush out those <laughs> that progress super, super fast, but um, he's taking his time and um, not putting too much pressure on pieces that don't need to. So that means that overall, he'll get there pretty efficiently, mezzo wise So that's uh, that's all pretty cohesive. So in that sense, with being that strong, I would say, yeah, just hold out for the big upgrades like on the Arcane, because Arcane upgrade can get so expensive, especially if you have backups, even if you're not safeguarding, it can get so expensive. And um, yeah, so I, I would wait until the 20% off. So for the people who don't know about that, so 20% uh, of the Starforce cost is gonna be removed in the summer update. And um, an event that KMS had was a 5, 10, 15 and a 30% off at the same time. Um, there's a possibility that we get that as well. There's no guarantee, of course, but it was a pretty specific event that was entwined with the Destiny update. So it is possible that we get that as well. So if you get 20% off and we get 30% and 5, 10, 15 at the same time, the amount of mileage you could get out of your money for star forcing at that point would be insane, right, compared to now. So... That's why some people who are sitting on a lot of money are planning on doing big upgrades, but they don't necessarily need them like in the next month or two, are just holding off and then seeing once we get the patch notes to see if it's part of the patch notes. Because if it is, you're going to get a lot of, of value from your money. So take that into account if you're making decisions on uh, on your future upgrades. Remember tomorrow is... Don't remember. Don't forget. Remember to not forget. Tomorrow's got the... Uh, Magnificent Soul event and the 50% off inner ability. And we of course have um, the first inner ability event with the new uh, increased chance of crit rate on legendary inner ability and the higher chance of epic and unique lines on legendary inner ability. So it should be an all time low in terms of costs for getting your end game inner abilities. So, um, you know, good luck if you guys are gonna, gonna be doing that. As always, thank you for watching. And if you need any of the resources, check out my YouTube channel. And I'll either see you during the stream or I'll see you on the next video. Bye.